Today, we're at Blagden Lakes in Somerset with Tony Donnelly from Bristol Waters Fishery. He's going to show us how to fish here for the very first time. My name's Tony Donnelly, I'm the Assistant Fisheries Manager with Bristol Water Fisheries Department. Construction began on Blagden Dam uh, in 1891 and was completed in 1899. Lake is 440 acres, uh, about a third of the size of Chew Valley Lake, our other main trout water. Um, much more intimate, sheltered um, and out the, the, the way of the wind on most days. Um, the average depth is 12 to 14 feet, but it does go to about 37 foot at its deepest point near the dam wall. What we're going to do today is, um, when we first go out, we're, we're going to go down to the, the, the top end of the lake. It's the, the farthest part of the lake from the lodge here. Um, we're going to start off fishing floating line and nymphs. As I say, most anglers fish that way when they come, come to Blagden. So we're, we're going to go out and we're going to try that first. The competition is size today. Nicky's laid down a challenge to me. Who gets the biggest one? Well, there's some good fish down at top end, so some of the better ones are there. So. See, a lot of the fly are hatching off last thing in the evening at the moment, so you will see, well, there's a buzzer there, see it on yeah. the surface oh, there? Yeah. But there is a lot of shuck. Um, so that's come up in patch, is it? Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's come up, they, they sort of stick in the surface film and then they, they climb out of their shuck in there. Yeah. They actually climb out of their casing whilst they're in the surface. Today I'm going to fish with three flies. Now, some people prefer to fish with two if they're more comfortable with that. Now, that's absolutely fine. It's better to fish with two flies and not spend all day undoing tangles because the more time your flies are in the water, the more fish you will catch. Ideally, you want overcast conditions. If you've got bright sunshine and a breeze, that, that can be the kiss of death, um, especially on Chew Valley Lake. But yeah, today, at the moment, it's looking very promising. The, the wind is due to pick up a little bit later on today, um, but that's not going to do us any harm. Just hooked the first fish of the day on our second drift um, up at up at Rugmore near the top end of Blagden Lake, and it's taken the red dowel back on the point. I had a fairly heavy hooked uh, dowel back on the point, um, and he's taken it halfway through the retrieve, so he was actually quite quite deep down. There we go, first fish of the day. Oh, that's a I'm going to return this one, so the trick is to just leave him in the water if you're going to unhook him. Uh, keep him in the net in the water. Unhook him, make sure your hands are wet if you're going to have to maybe hold on to him a little bit. But... because there's a bit of weed in the arpen, so... There we go, so when you're ready, I'm ready. Just... Oh, that's perfect, your dash is You can maybe give him a little bit more, but don't, don't force him, it's more important to get him in. Wow! <laughs> oh, that is a cracking fish, like an absolute belter. It could easily be a salmon, as far as I'm concerned. Fought really, fought really hard. I thought it was much bigger, but I mean, that is a big fish. Maybe three pounds. Add two, because you always do when you're fishing. <laughs> so it could be well, well, well in excess of five pounds. One for the smoker. As a first time coming down to Blackton, what yep. kit should I bring? Do you have many beginners coming down? Yes, um, the, this lake is um, it's probably slightly easier than Chew for beginners to fish, just with it being smaller, um, it's, it's more sheltered from, from the sort of windier days. Um, and and it is, there is times when the fish are in certain areas and you know that if you go there there's a, a good chance of a fish. So beginners do come here and, and people who don't fish that often. Um, one of the, the good things about the lake is with it being generally that you know, the average depth is quite shallow and there's large areas of, sh of, sh of shallow weedy um, patches in the lake is that most of the time a floating line suffices. So 
all you need is a floating line and then you're fishing with two or three nymphs and, and for almost all season that is that is all you need to be fishing here and, and that is how most people fish is with floating line and nymphs. A, a nymph is, a, is a, a fly that is dressed to look like the aquatic stage of an invertebrate's life cycle so some insects spend their whole lives in the water, uh, other insects spend part of their life cycle in the water and then hatch out into flying insects but a nymph represents the aquatic submerged stage of a, of a, of a fly's life cycle. And so far this year the biggest brown trout is £4.7 and the biggest rainbow is uh, just over £10. So there is big fish in there. Um, we know as well as there's lots of stories of bigger fish being seen but um, amongst the staff uh, last year one of them did have a fish over £11 and right towards the end of the season. So yeah, there's fish into double figures in the lakes. Um, I'm new to fly fishing. I've just been out on Blagdon Lake for the first time and I've caught this lovely rainbow trout. Let's go and weigh it, shall we? Cool. What did I say? Six. Oh, did I? <laughs> I said four and a half to five. Happy days.